Hey there, on my channel, I share tips, resources, and ideas to help business owners and solopreneurs move their ideas forward. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to embed your Facebook Live video into your WordPress blog. If you're using Facebook Live to connect with your audience, that is awesome. It takes time and energy to create those videos. So you obviously want them to get found by the people who are meant to see your content. You are doing these live videos because you have valuable information to share and you want the right people to find you and connect with you. I talk a lot about repurposing content, especially Facebook live videos because not everyone's gonna see it while you're live or maybe not even see it on Facebook afterwards. So repurposing content allows you to share that video in other places to increase the chances of the right audience finding you. One of the easiest ways to repurpose your live video is adding it to your blog. There are a number of reasons why you should be adding to your blog consistently anyway, including search. The more that we're updating our website by offering fresh, new, relevant content, the easier it is for Google to understand what our business does, how we help our clients and customers, and it's also telling Google, hey, I'm in business, I'm updating my site, this is what I, this is what I do, this is how I help my clients and customers. So we want to be consistently adding content to our website, so if you're already doing Facebook Live videos, definitely take advantage of putting it over on your blog. Before you embed your video into your blog, I highly recommend getting that video transcribed. You want Google to know what the heck that video is about. And it's also great for the reader. If somebody goes onto your blog, they maybe they wanna read a little bit about what you talked about in the video, and hopefully it's enticing enough to get them to click on and watch that video. So getting it transcribed, there are a number of different services you can use. I happen to use temi.com. Uh, you can also use rev.com, but they are really great services. The, uh, the accuracy is actually really impressive, so I just always edit before I post it, obviously, because you have to check it out and make sure it's all right. Uh, but definitely get that video transcribed before you embed it. Actually, embedding your video is super easy, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. The first thing you are going to do is go to the back end of your website. As you normally log in, if you regularly post or if you go in to make any edits, you're just gonna go into the back end of your site, get to the dashboard. Here's posts, add new. So if you regularly post blogs, then this is very familiar to you. You obviously know these steps. Now you're gonna go, so now you're set up to have a new blog post, and now you're gonna go over to Facebook. So go over to your Facebook page, and let's see, okay, so I'm going to find a live video that I did. Okay, perfect, so I was live. So here's a live video that I did. Now you click these three buttons, click more options, embed, because you wanna get the embed code. So how here is the embed code right here. You also, so you can either do it just the video. Oh, look, look at my face. That's attractive. Um, so you're gonna, uh, you can either have just the video or you can include the full post. So check it out. When you include the full post, it actually brings over the description. So after you do a live video, definitely write a description so that you, that people know what the heck the video is about. And uh, now that I've done that, I can copy this embed code, take it on over to the blog, and you're going to switch over. So now I'm in visual right now, but I want to switch over to text, and I'm going to copy the embed code under, as I'm under text, 
and check it out. I go back to visual and this is my post. So like I said in the video, I definitely recommend getting the video transcribed so that people know what you're talking about in the video and more importantly, that Google knows what you are talking about in the video. That's gonna help with your SEO, your search engine optimization. So you can um, have that video transcribed or you can just write a little in this video, um, you know, just do a, a video recap just so, again, you, you're putting some text with that video. So there you go. And then you can check it out and do a little preview. Hopefully your <laughs> screenshot of your Facebook Live video is a little different than mine. And there you go. Oh, here, you need to add, obviously, you're adding this as a blog post. So simple ways to repurpose content. There we go. All right, so that's what the video, that's what the blog post looks like. Simple ways to repurpose content. Here is the embedded video. And how cool is this? These are clickable. So here we go. Click on Ryan Holiday and it gets to his page on Facebook. So that is a fun benefit when you actually do click to uh, to embed the full, not just the video, but actually the, the description as well. So after you do a live video, definitely write a description so people know what that video is about. All right, once you check it out and you know it is good to go, then all you have to do is press publish, and there you have it. You have a new piece of content on your blog from the Facebook Live video that you did for your audience. See, I told you it was easy. Now, every time you do a Facebook Live video, you can add fresh new content right to your blog. If you have any questions, please comment below and let me know. I will help however I can. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like it and also share it with someone who you think might find it valuable as well. I also invite you to subscribe to my channel so you get notified when I post another video just like this.